Hi, my name is Carolyn. I'm a trainer, owner of Cryoglow, and most importantly, in charge of this freezing phone booth, otherwise known as a cryotherapy chamber. For this show, we take you inside this negative 220 degree box and interview guests in a way you've never seen them before. This is Icebreakers. Hi, I'm Carolyn Martin. I'm the host of Icebreakers, and I am here with Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas is a YouTuber, model, actress, singer, and writer. She has one of the most dynamic personalities on YouTube and is known to never shy away from controversy. In 2019, she headlined her first tour, The Heartbreak Tour. Oh my gosh. All right. Woo! Are you ready? I'm ready. So if you were arrested, no explanation, what would your friends and family assume that you did? Oh my goodness. Uh, probably prostitution. Oh <laughs> probably something like that. <laughs> okay. Who are the three greatest living musicians? Um, oh, living? Um, living. Oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like thinking Britney Spears, but she's Spears. not a musician. Um, Britney Spears, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of any musicians. Um, um, Shawn Mendes. Okay. And, yes. and I don't know yes. their names. Give me, give me one more, give me one more. Cardi B's the only one I know. Oh, I don't I know any music. I love it. Okay, what's the, what's the worst job you ever had? Oh, um, oh god, oh my god, my nose booker's freezing. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, worst job. Uh, I was an embalmer at a, at a funeral home when I was 19. Holy crap. Yeah. Oh my god, that must be <laughs> horrible. Okay. Yeah. Um, aside from yourself, who is your favorite YouTube star? Oh, uh, Shane Dawson. Nice. Obviously, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to give up coffee or alcohol, what would you give up forever? Coffee. Coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Never <laughs> give up alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> um, is cereal soup? No. What? No. <laughs> No, cereal, cereal. It's like the best thing ever. I hate soup. What's the last place? Where's the last place that you would ever be caught dead? Oh, at like a sports event. Really? Yeah, football, basketball, oh. baseball. The worst, the worst. Yeah, baseball's pretty boring. Boring. Um, what is something that everybody looks stupid doing? Probably cryo. <laughs> I feel like I look crazy right now. <laughs> sample a lot of fast food mm -hmm. in your YouTube videos. <laughs> what is the most disgusting thing you've ever eaten? Oh, I hate Big Macs. I hate Big Macs. And that, that was the most disgusting? Oh, I like puked after. I, hate I was like, gonna ask, did yeah. you get sick? I got sick. Oh my it was God. so gross and I never did it again. Um, <sighs> so why is lemon juice made with artificial <laughs> flavoring but dishwashing detergent is made with real lemons? Oh my gosh. I don't know, maybe they're trying to poison people who drink lemon juice, I don't know. <laughs> the government, they're out to get us, I feel. <laughs> if you could know the absolute truth to one question, what would it be? Oh, is there a heaven? Oh, I love yeah, that. Yeah, I need to know. <laughs> I love that. Um, <sighs> what's the scariest animal that would scale up to size of a horse? Oh. Oh, I have a lot of ants lately, maybe a giant ant. Oh, I think like a, um, <laughs> Spider. Spider. Yes. Spider, that too. <laughs> What's the most ridiculous pickup line in your DMs right now? Oh, I had a rapper ask me to be in his music video, and the music video never happens, and he keeps asking me to be in it, and I'm like, isn't that past the deadline of a music video? <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done while drinking? Uh, I puked on Jenna Marbles, actually. You did? Yeah. Oh, she took God. my clothes off and everything. <laughs> I was like, sorry. <laughs> Do I look crazy? Oh my god. All the blood is flowing back to your Wow. Lungs. How do you feel? I feel good. Yeah. I, I do feel good. Like I literally feel like there's a bunch of needles in me. It's like acupuncture on steroids. Like I feel it feels good. Yeah. I do feel good. You feel energized? Yeah. Awesome. I like it weirdly. Oh my god. I like so look at the goosebumps. Yes. So how do you feel after getting out of the chamber? I feel great. Yeah? I feel like so much energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody says like after they get out, they like feel so much energy and like yeah. the blood flows going and it's really cool. Yeah, it's like it's like the ultimate like hype. Like you feel hyped after it and you I feel should, like really good. You should also sleep good tonight. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, see, I've been having trouble sleeping too because of my knee, so I'm like really excited. Oh, perfect. And I hope oh. it helps your knee. Yeah, I know. I mean, that felt good. I was like doing squats back there. I was like, oh, I feel good because I was like, okay, let me just try it out. And it feels good. Like, I feel great actually. My skin feels like tighter. Yay. Yeah. So, your YouTube persona is like super colorful. Uh -huh. Do you take that like energy, that same energy, and apply it to your Heartbreaker show? Oh, yeah. Oh my God, for sure. We have so many costume changes. Like, it's only an hour long show, and I think I change costumes like five times throughout it. Whoa. Yeah, I'm always doing like quick changes. And then, of course, I always have to bring like my dancers. Like, all the uh, any other YouTuber that goes on tour is usually just them or like okay. whatever. But I like demanded I have like my dancers and like confetti and like everything. So, oh, we, like, I love it. Blow confetti out at the end of the show and stuff. Yeah, it's definitely colorful and fun. I love that. <laughs> And how, wild. how long have you been performing? You know what? This is my only my second tour, so I'm like, oh, and I'm wow. 31, so like I started kind of late, but um, I love. It. I was performing when I was like a little kid, and I always wanted to live perform, so I had like a 10 year hiatus, and then because of YouTube, like I got offered like a tour last year, and then this year is like a bigger tour, so I'll like keep I doing it. I love it. Yeah, I want to go on like a Christmas tour. I want to do like a whole holiday tour. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So I heard, I think it was on Celebrity Big Brother. Mm -hmm. I heard that you are you believe in vampires. Yes, <laughs> I have a vampire in my house. That's how it started. Yeah. Okay, wait. You, I need to know. Like, what is it? What do you mean you have a vampire in your house? Yeah, I have one in my house. It was my this was like maybe four years ago. I made a video about it. Actually, I made like a few videos about really? it. Really? Yeah. And then on some of your other, it just kind of like escalated because yeah. I talked about it on there. But yeah, I have a vampire, and I still think I do because this uh, this sounds crazy. I'm sober now. I'm not on drugs or anything like that. And my tampons disappear out of my out of my um my trash so I flush the gross one down the toilet but like you know you have that extra layover one and you throw that out yeah they disappear legit and I don't believe in ghosts I don't believe paranormal I don't believe anything but like I swear there's a vampire because like it's only my tampons so if you like met someone in there or like a vampire would you be afraid or would you like befriend them Oh, I'd be scared. I'm scared of my vampire in my house. So okay. if I met someone, I, I met someone who told me they were a vampire. I think I talked about this in Little Brother. I talked, I met someone who was a vampire and scared me. I was like, he's like, I have to have blood to like be strong. I was like, oh, what? yeah. And it couldn't be like that kind of blood, like mental blood. It had to be like a bite. I was like, oh, no. Oh my God. So I guess he just bites people. I don't know. He was for real. I don't know. I met him outside of McDonald's. So he could have been homeless too. Oh, that's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you went to the Met Gala, right? No, I didn't oh, go. Oh, you didn't uh, go, but no. there was other YouTubers that mm -hmm. were there? Yeah, oh my god, I wish I was invited. It was like Liza, James Charles, yeah. the big ones, the mainstream. It seemed like they got like a lot of crap for that. Like, yeah. Why, like, why do you think that is? Um, I kind of get it. I mean, I mean, if I was invited, I'd go, but I kind of yeah. get it too. Like, I've been invited to like movie premieres, and I don't go because I don't feel like I'm really like part of that world. But maybe I should. Maybe it shouldn't matter. I, I think it shouldn't matter, but I get why, because they're like, okay, why are YouTubers? I get why people think that. Obviously, as a YouTuber, I think that's awesome, but yeah. I get, like, they're not really in that world. Even, like, major celebrities don't get invited unless you have something to do with fashion and, like, right. that kind of stuff. So I think it's it's more of that. And plus, our YouTubers don't really show out, like, the way, like, Zendaya shows out. You know, yeah. I feel like they kind of lack what the Met Gala is about, but also I've never been invited, so I can't really talk. <laughs> do you think that, like, eventually YouTube and, like, mainstream will merge to one? Yeah, I think it's, like, already happening for yeah. sure. I feel like mainstream means like YouTubers, you know what I mean? Yeah. The people who have like the like in on like what's happening. Yeah. Obviously like even, we were just talking about like another show like has mainstream appeal on YouTube. I feel like that's, people are going that way. Yeah. Because no one has, I don't have cable anymore. You know, I think right. people just watch YouTube. It's but, free. That's what I do. Yeah, same. All night. I just watch YouTube. Yeah. I don't watch anything else. And there's really good shows. There are, like, quality shows on For there, sure. you know? Yeah. I mean, now it's, like, a production. Like, this is, like, a show. You yeah. know, like a TV show. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. Yeah. Um, so, you kind of get, like, a lot of um, media attention, like, within YouTubers. Mm -hmm. I'm sometimes not always great. Yes. <laughs> um, what's the biggest misconception about you? <sighs> that I... <sighs> I guess the biggest misconception is that like I'm oh I uh, lately it's been that I'm a manipulator. What? Yeah, that I manipulate people and like my audience and I really hate that one because like I'm not I think cuz I cry a lot. Okay. So people think it's like maybe fake or like crocodile tears or something like yeah. that, but like I really am just emotional and I think people think I'm like this like really toxic person to people. They're like the reason you have no boyfriends and no friends is cuz you're toxic and I I think that's a misconception. I know I'm not perfect, but like I'm not like a bad like toxic person. Like yeah. I think I just Maybe I'm just socially awkward and just kind of like weird, I think. And I, I overshare. I overshare, but it's never, this is the other mis misconception, is that I'm never meant to like destroy someone. I don't ever want to like right. hurt anyone or cancel people. I just overshare too much, which yeah. 
can make it look like I'm crazy or unstable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so last question. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you have your tour going on. Is there uh, anything else that you have cooking that you want to share? Oh, I have my tour. Um, I have a book that just came out. It's called 101 Poems About My Ex-Boyfriend. Oh my <laughs> I wrote God. a bunch of poems and like transcribed it into a book. And then... Um, yeah, I have a new album that comes out literally in two weeks. It's called Hell Rebirth. Yes. Yeah, That's so it's my awesome. eighth. It's like my eighth album. So awesome. Yeah, and. Um and then, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I have that's going on. Just, just that. That's yeah, <laughs> I know. I always try. You know, I always try to like do more do and more. Do you sleep? No, but I, I don't need to. I mean, maybe tonight I will after my cryo. But <laughs> well, thank yeah. you so much thank for you. being on this my show. This is so much fun. Oh yeah. my gosh, thank awesome. you.